Hi guys, so this is Vanetta again, back with another video about doing business in Brazil. I'm actually going to make this a several part series. I don't know how many videos I'm going to make, but <laughs> basically just as many as needed to talk about this very complex subject of how to do a business uh, or how to do business or start a business in Brazil, okay? This can be one of the most challenging areas for foreign people, mainly because we just don't understand the culture and we don't understand the language, okay? So I'm just gonna be breaking, I'm just gonna be breaking this up into digestible parts and you know, eventually you can just click on whatever subject interests you. So I'm going to start this off with the idea that Brazil is not for beginners, okay? So this is kind of a, a well-known quote here in Brazil. Brazil is not for beginners. And there's a reason for that quote. <laughs> it's because the place uh, culturally, it is a bit chaotic, you know? There's a lot of, uh, it's chaotic and very bureaucratic. If you were to compare it to a place like the U United States or Canada, for example. OK, we have different types of bureaucracy in those places as well. But here, if you don't know how to navigate Brazil, um, you can get stuck losing a lot of money, time, energy, spirit, whatever. OK, <laughs> some people call it the Brazilian black hole because business practices here are not the same as they are in a lot of other places. OK. So basically, if you come from a so-called developed nation, that would be the United States, Canada, Australia, certain parts of Europe, etc., then you will have a huge learning curve. If, you, if you're not familiar with Brazil, if you're not familiar with the culture or the language, and you will absolutely need to spend time studying the place. If you plan to do any business whatsoever, outside outside of Sao Paulo <laughs> because so far that is the only place that I have seen in the eight years that I've been here that really functions similarly to the United States of America for example um, on the other hand uh, I've seen foreign people from other developed nations or other undeveloped nations or other developing nations as it were uh, really kick some butt here, okay? So for example, um, people from places like South Africa, Mozambique, Angola, um, Venezuela, for example, people from places like that, they actually come here and the, the standard here may be a little bit higher than where they are from. So they're able to really come here and do a lot of, do a, do a lot, you know, because they actually have an easier time of navigating this culture than in their own country. So really take, take it on board that Brazil is not for beginners. This means that you will need to spend a considerable an amount of time studying the culture. You will need to try to make friends, um, try to get to know people who actually live on the ground in the country. Um, you will most likely also need to invest uh, at least a little bit of time and energy into learning the language so that you know what's going on around you. I know a lot of the, a lot of especially Americans, Europeans and Australians um, and Canadians, for example, they often are overly reliant on somebody here to do all of the the dirty work and the hard work for them and they really end up paying a price at the end um, because they're putting way too much trust in other people so yeah the first thing first thing is just really take that quote on board brazil is not for beginners it is not <laughs> um, if you're a gringo like i am you absolutely need to spend sometime a few months maybe even up to a year just studying this place how it functions if possible 
spend as much time as possible here on the ground so that you can actually start forming relationships with people um, and just sort of study whatever area you're interested in, okay? So that's, that's that. Stay tuned for more videos. <laughs>